happening. Today we're working on the cobalt. It's been having an intermittent, inter, <laughs> yeah. intermittent, you do something like a block. intermittent <laughs> oil pressure light has been coming on and off, and I think it's the oil pressure switch. So we're gonna swap that out today. Unfortunately, it's located just below the intake manifold and just above the starter. So we're thinking the starter's gonna have the path of least resistance. We're gonna try to take that starter off. So far, there's a 15 millimeter bolt, but before we get too far, we're gonna have to disconnect the battery. Cause you, you know, you don't wanna like ground out stuff with the starter or stuff like that. And then weld your hand, melt it into a wrench and Work, yeah. We're in the trunk of the, she the 2010 Chevy Cobalt, and those of you that don't know, this car is actually race car inspired, and they took design cues from a Mazda Miata and put the, the battery in the trunk. So before we get wrenching under the hood, we gotta come back here and disconnect the, I don't know, negative terminal. Sounds, looks easy because there's no cover on it. All right, so we got the battery off. Well, it's a little 10 millimeter bolt. You loosen that up, it releases the clamp. You pull it off, set it aside. In order to get at that pressure switch, we're coming underneath here. We're gonna undo that. That starter is underneath. We might need a like motivator bar of some sort. Am I going the wrong way? Here, I got my arms are motivator bars. I got it. You got it? Yeah, as soon as you started saying you're gonna, gonna one up me, I'll die for this. Waiting for this wrench to fall on my teeth. Next week on Hardway Learning, we go to the dentist. Do we need air tools? Ooh. See, kids, you don't want to hit your knuckle. Like, legitimately hurts. Well, all I really know is those two bolts, so now what? It's There's... not loose, so you can't pull it out? No, I don't know if there's more stuff. I thought all, there, all, I thought all that was supposed to hold that thing in was two bolts. I thought that was our answer. Uh, it looks like... Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, 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 hi. That bolt is still somewhat engaged up top though. Um. I didn't know how much to loosen it, so I wanted to do the other one. As soon as this bolt backs out, this whole thing is just gonna dome you. Okay, well, let's see what happens when I try to do this. It's still not undone. All this, and she's still gonna have an oil light. It's like a thread left, I feel like. Can you twist it with your finger while you pull? I can't get the socket back in there. Oh. Oh. You got it out? I gotta figure out the harness now. I figured. Is it just resting like that? Yeah, let's just do that. Coming in this way. There is where the starter was. Bolt here, bolt here. And now this is our pressure sensor. Right here, easy access to plug off. And then we're gonna have to get a, an adjustable wrench on there or something. Or maybe a socket will fit on there? Feels like a weird, it's like a weird shape. So we'll loosen that guy up. Okay, so I don't know what this thing is, but it was it was up here. Oh, that's probably a ground. Take that guy off so that I can get an adjustable wrench around the pressure sensor. And uh, now it is finger tight. Can get that guy off. Oh, and oil is dumping out of there. So that's, <laughs> that's really nice. So, <laughs> so, Dan, you should get a towel. <laughs> smooth there's like no drippage that that my friends is how you do that I was out of focus this whole time all I did was the old just, switcher. Just switch them you know I gotta say I'm really glad you you said let's take this starter out <laughs> we'd have like 40 bolts on you the ground manifolds. now the only question is getting that top bolt back I think in. it'll be okay Famous last words, my friend. Little trick to keep the bolt in place. Tape on the end of the, uh, the old socket. Pop this up into the, above the starter. And I think she might just stay in place there. Oh, it's in, it's in. No! It's back out. How's it coming? You got it in? Yeah. Cool. 
<laughs> That's the most fascinating thing. Like, so not looking forward to the effort I'm gonna have to put forth to crawl out from under. <laughs> Just pull me out. Well, we took it for a quick spin. Uh, oil pressure light's still going on and off, so it's either a wiring issue or we actually have an oil pressure issue. The car has actually been driving a significant amount, and I would think there'd be a lot of strange engine noises if we weren't getting proper fuel pressure. And it also, the pressure light comes on when you're on throttle going down the highway, and it'll go off when you coast. So, if we were having a realistic oil pressure problem, I would think that you'd have proper pressure as your engine is on a higher RPM and would have less pressure when you're coasting at a lower RPM. So it's not behaving quite like there is actually an oil pressure problem. Now you know how to replace the switch, you know how to remove the starter motor. Uh, so we learned something today, but we still need to fix the car. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time.